guy brought in a diamond tiara that belonged to First Lady Ida McKinley. He thinks it's worth $75,000. That seems pretty high to me. So I called on my buddy Greg to check this thing out. Oh, there it is. It's like the crown jewels of the United States. Yeah. <laughs> it's an interesting looking piece. I'm the owner of Fred Layton. We specialize in vintage and antique jewelry, and we help people uh, understand jewelry in the context of historical periods and also understand value. Late 1800s, you, you saw a lot of jewelry in um, nature motifs, a lot of bird feathers, wings. Pieces like this were quite popular. The diamonds are, are fine quality for the period. They're what you would expect to see. The idea that this was convertible and has the fittings mm -hmm. for both the brooch and also the tiara, and I think that's kind of neat. So the question becomes, what do we know about the provenance? How can we substantiate the provenance of the piece itself? It's seen in this official White House First Lady photograph. Um, this is one of the events that was going on at the McKinley Museum, and it's featured there. Well, certainly it does link, in a fairly official way, this piece to Ida McKinley. Um, you know, how much value that adds is, it's a little bit of uh, open to interpretation. What would it go in your store? Well, I think in a, in a retail store like Fred Layton, we would see this piece sell for $75,000. Okay, sort of what he's wanting. So yeah. we're gonna have to talk a little bit, but uh, thanks, man, I appreciate it. My pleasure. There are many collectors, people who have a fashionable sense of style, who would actually really appreciate that piece, both as a piece of jewelry and also because of its history.